my beautiful noodles, it's me Nikki, aka Nikki Noodle, and we are back again for another quick Sims cast video. Today we're going to be doing what I love to do so much, which is taking my favorite childhood characters and recreating them in The Sims. Today we will be doing that with Strawberry Shortcake, I'm sure you can already see, specifically the 2003 design of Strawberry Shortcake. We'll be making strawberry shortcake as well as some of her friends. So as you can see, we are starting with our main character, Strawberry Shortcake herself. I loved watching Strawberry Shortcake when I was little and I had a few Strawberry Shortcake like dolls and things like that. I remember I specifically had a set that had the dolls with horses that like matched them. So I had strawberry shortcake who had like a yellow horse that went with it i think that was supposed to be like a pound cake resemblance for the strawberry shortcake and then i also had angel cake and her horse i think that was like white with purple hair and stuff and the horses were scented so they smelled like cake they were so cool and they smelled for like years like I remember years later finding them again and they still smelled like cake. I don't know what they used to use in like the 90s and early 2000s to make scented toys, but they always smelled so good and they lasted for so long. And as you can see now, we are moving on to her clothes. I think her hair and makeup and everything up on her head turned out pretty good. Of course, it's The Sims, so we're not going to get exact matches for things, but... I think her cute little short hair and that hat I think was the most fitting to resemble her iconic strawberry hat. And now we are going to try to get the outfit to match as best as possible. It is going to be a little bit difficult just because she does have a very specific sense of style, very specific items that I don't know that they exist in The Sims. For example, just that basic striped shirt of hers was so difficult to find a match for because the styles of the ones on The Sims and the colors and everything was just not right at all. I did decide to go with these jeans with the flannel tied around them. Even though they're not wide leg jeans, I do think having that like jacket around it is a pinnacle of this outfit. So I decided to sacrifice the wide leg jeans for the little flannel and as you can see here I am changing the stripe top. I thought that the pink was going to match the strawberry shortcake vibes a little bit more but I ultimately decided to go with this cream and red one and I think that one works out so much better. It's not an exact match to the actual cartoon but I think the vibes are there and that's what's most important. And then I of course had to give her these strawberry earrings because how could I not? And that is Strawberry Shortcake all done and we are ready to move on to the next character and the next sim. For this next sim, I decided to create a character that I had honestly forgotten about in the Strawberry Shortcake series and that is Lemon Meringue. I thought she had such a unique style and very specific items that I already had a vision for her in The Sims. So to start, we're just going to try to get her facial structure and facial features correct. All of these characters have very similar face shapes and styles. It's just that early 2000s thing of creating the same template and just changing up the features on them. So they all have very round faces, rounded features, and tiny noses and big eyes, but we're going to go ahead and give her her blue eyes, blonde hair. She's got very long hair. All of these characters have a very specific design style and they all embody their desserts that they're named after so well. So it was really fun bringing that style over into The Sims and basically just creating Sims off of different desserts. So Lemon Meringue here is obviously very bright and citrusy and sunny and I try to embody that well here when you see her outfit it's just perfection it's not it doesn't match the character as closely but I had to do it because it's just too perfect to miss up and I'm finding it here we're almost there the lemon dress of course she had to have the lemon dress she's lemon meringue it was just too perfect. I think she turned out so cute. This like sunny, very bright 
kind of sim is one of my favorite styles of sims to make. I've talked about it before. Yellow, sunny, optimistic, farming, gardening type sim is just my perfect sim. That's what I love to make. And I think she turned out so cute. We're just adding some yellow shoes for her to match her outfit. And that's Lemon Meringue pretty much done. We're going to go to our next sim nail. The next character we're going to be making in The Sims is going to be my favorite character when I was a child, Angel Cake. I loved her. I loved her style, her personality, everything about her. Loved. So I'm very excited to be trying to recreate her in The Sims. I hope I do her justice. Starting out with the facial features, as always, she also has some blue eyes and blonde hair. For some reason, those two dolls with the horses are the only Strawberry Shortcake themed toys I ever remember having, but I'm pretty sure there were other things. I just don't remember. Uh, but those two are the ones that really stick in my mind. I have certain toys from childhood that I just remember sometimes or that I've always like remembered and I have a whole folder in my phone of like screenshots of toys that I used to have like just googling them and like a folder called nostalgia because I just I frequently like remember things and then want to find them on google to know that they were real and so I just have a folder on my phone of all of the proof that yes the things I had were real and then sometimes for some things um I have to actually find those toys for sale again and get them. I've gotten two of my old Care Bears um, online from a reseller and then I've gotten two of my old Teletubby toys as well because I like just hyper focused on getting those and I had to have them because I missed them so much and could not find my original ones. But anyway, I think Angel Cake is turning out really, really cute. Her hair and everything up on her head turned out so well. She actually looks a lot like Angel Cake, and this outfit is just perfect for her. I think Angel Cake had the most similar style to myself when I was little, uh, just ready to play instead of being cute and Somehow she's still cute though. I don't think I was that cute, but she turned out so good. These hats on all of these characters are really throwing me off because Sims just does not have a very good selection of hats, especially in this very specific style, but I think she turned out good. It kind of just looks like a bucket hat and I think that suits her. It's not exactly what she has, but it works. So now we're going to move on to our final character. And the final one that we're going to be doing today is Orange Blossom. I loved Orange Blossom as a kid too. I tried to really stay with four of the characters that I really remember and remember vividly in the show, other than Lemon Meringue, because she was just too cute and iconic. We had to do her. But I really loved Orange Blossom. It's like these three, Strawberry Shortcake, Angel Cake, Orange Blossom, and then like Ginger Snap and the boy blueberry something those are like the core ones that i remember the most so we had to do orange blossom orange blossom is also just such a cute character i love her buns and her sense of style all of their styles are very like 90s 2000s child and i love it it's just cozy the overalls the big sweaters the big wide leg jeans I love it. It's such a cute character design and it's so cute now. Like I would wear these outfits right now. Unfortunately for Orange Blossom, because of her buns, we were not able to put a hat on her. So I just went ahead and put a nice orange flower crown on her to represent her hat and her style in that sense. This nice orange giant sweater worked perfectly for her style. And then we're just going to add some khakis and some boots as well. She was the easiest one to dress by far. She's got the most basic pieces out of all three of these, I think. And that really helped for being in The Sims, where we don't have a lot of these niche design and style items. 
And I'm just going to add some nice orange flower earrings. It kind of matches the orange shirt that she has on her sweater in the show. And with that, these sims are done. So I'm just going to go through and show you the final product of all of them real quick. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so, so much for watching. If you like cast videos, leave me a like so that I know. I personally love making sims and cast, so I would be so down to make more cast videos. All of my socials will be in the description below. Consider subscribing if you want to join my community of noodles. I make lots of Sims content, including the 100 Baby Challenge on Sundays, as well as other cozy games. And with all that being said, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or week, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys!